A phase three study of an experimental Alzheimer's drug is being hailed by medical experts as revolutionary. The drug, known as lecanemab, slowed cognitive decline in some patients, which spanned 18 months and enrolled nearly 1,800 participants with early stage Alzheimer's. The data was presented earlier this week. This is a, a definite advance. Dr. Stephen Salloway is a professor of neurology and psychiatry at Brown University. This is the first time that we have a trial that shows clearly positive results, uh, a medicine that lowers amyloid plaques, a key part of the disease, and looks like it slows down the disease process. So what it, I th what it represents to me for the first time is that we may have a treatment that can slow Alzheimer's disease. And that's something very sort of revolutionary. But the experimental drug from the company's ASI and Biogen may also carry a risk of serious side effects for certain patients. Lecanemab was associated with a dangerous type of brain swelling in nearly 13% of patients in the trial. Some patients also experienced bleeding in the brain. Dr. Ronald Peterson, director of the Mayo Clinic Alzheimer's Research Center and the Mayo Clinic Study of Aging, said clinicians would have to thoroughly go over all of the side effects with a patient looking at taking lecanemab. The drug can cause increased swelling in the brain and can cause bleeding in the brain. Generally, these can be monitored carefully with MRI scans, and often they're not symptomatic. And so if you stop the treatment, the side effects will resolve. But nevertheless, these are potentially real and potentially serious side effects with regard to bleeding in the brain. But again, I think they're relatively low, low frequency and can be monitored. The Alzheimer's Association has called on U.S. regulators to approve the company's application for accelerated approval. Dr. Salloway says this drug could change the future of the disease. We need to move the field forward. And, and having this treatment opens the door. It's not just this medicine. It's a whole way of treating Alzheimer's. That's what's revolutionary about it, is that we now would require a molecular diagnosis where someone has a specific test to confirm that they have the pathology of Alzheimer's, and then we'd have a way of monitoring this treatment over time. And soon, the way we're going to detect the amyloid changes with a blood test. And that's really revolutionary, too.